in this problem, we have a 100 gram piece of aluminum that is at 90 degrees Celsius and it's put into a beaker of water, one liter of water, and the water is at 20 degrees Celsius. Now we're asked to find what is the final temperature of the equilibrium of the system, assuming you don't lose heat to the container or the air surrounding everything. So what is the final temperature that this water and aluminum combined will reach? So we need to know two constants to start. We need to know the specific heats of both. So specific heat capacity of aluminum is 920 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. And specific heat capacity for water is 4,186 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Okay, now we know that the heat lost by the aluminum is the heat gained by the water. And that's how we're going to do this. We're going to do, uh, say the heat lost by aluminum is going to be the equal heat gained by the water. And Q, that heat transfer, is given by mc delta T, mass C delta T. So, we have these knowns, we don't know our final temperature of the system, that's what we want to find out. Okay, so we're going to plug MC delta T in for A and for W. Initial and final temperatures, because delta T is a change in temperature. So we have QA, so that is M of our aluminum, mass of the aluminum, C of the aluminum, delta T of aluminum. So it's going to be T aluminum initial minus T aluminum final. I'm just going to call it T final, final temperature, because this temperature of the whole system is going to be the same. So we're going to have T final on the other side of the equation as well. Equals mass of the water, heat capacity of the water, and delta T of the water, which is T water initial minus our final temperature. Okay, heat lost by the aluminum equals heat gained by the water. Okay, so, okay, so actually since it's heat gained by the water, the final temperature is going to be greater, so we have to put that final temperature first. So we're going to have final temperature here, and we're going to have the temperature, initial temperature of the water there. So you can see uh, the initial temperature of aluminum is hotter than this final temperature. And the initial, the initial temperature of the water is lower than this, so we just put it there so that we can get positive values. So that's our delta T, and this is our delta T here. To make them both positive. Okay, heat lost, heat gained. So that's why we have to change around the negative there. Okay, let's let's uh, look at what we know. Mass of aluminum, we know. C of aluminum, we know. Mass of water, we don't have written down, but it's easy to tell because we have one liter of water, and it's um, we we know the density of water is one thousand kilograms per cubic meter. So. That's pretty easy to figure out. And C of water, we know. And we don't know our final temperatures, but we know our initial temperatures. So the only thing we have to do is basically solve for our final temperature here, and we're good. Okay. So let's, uh, let's basically multiply everything through and solve for our final temperature. So we got... M A C A times T A I minus M A C A T final equals same thing on this side M W C W T final M W C W T initial. Okay. So I'm going to put the T finals over to that side, the initials to this side, just because it'll make it positive. Okay, M A C A plus.
plus M W C W T W initial. I forgot to write down my T A initial there equals M W C W T final plus M A C A T final. Okay. So I factor out my T final, so I get M W C W plus M A C A times my T final. So I just factor that, and now all I'm going to do is divide this term over this side to get my T final equals T A initial M A C A. W, C, W, T, W, initial, all divided by M, W, C, W, plus M, A, C, A. So that's going to give us our final temperature just by plugging all these knowns into there. Okay, so the one thing we have to look for, like I said, was the mass of the water right there. So... If we want, we can just, well, we'll just write that in as, well, let's do this. We know that rho of water equals 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, okay? So it's basically, uh, one, a liter is interchangeable with a uh, kilogram, so one liter is one kilogram. So we're just going to write that in there for the mass of water is one kilogram, okay? So, we want these in Kelvin, so 273 plus 90 is 363 Kelvin, and 293 Kelvin, and I think we're good for everything, so let's plug in. Initial temperature of our aluminum, 363 Kelvin. Mass of aluminum, 100 grams, so we put that in kilograms, 0.1 kg times CA, which is 920 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. Now, it's degrees C in here and not Kelvin because it's a change in temperature that we care about. Or, well, that, that's delta. Delta T, so with the change in temperature is what we worry about as a unit here. So this d degree C can actually cancel with that Kelvin. And we have plus mass of water, we said was one kilogram. C of water was 4186 joules per kilogram degree C times by temperature of the water initially, which is 293 Kelvin. 293 Kelvin. All divided by the mass of the water, which is 1 kilogram. Sea water, which is 4186 joules per kilogram BC plus mass of the aluminum, which is 0.1 kilograms times C of aluminum, 920. Okay, if we plug all this stuff in, we get a final temperature of 294.5 Kelvin, and that is equal to, if we subtract off 273 from that, 21.5 degrees Celsius.
final temperature and our final answer.